shuttle Columbia sits on the launch pad. Columbia's launch was delayed by a day because a crucial processor fizzled out and had to be replaced. It is now scheduled to lift off in less than an hour. CNN plans live coverage at the times you can see on your screen. coverage of a live event. After a one-day delay, the U.S. Space Shuttle Columbia is fueled and ready to go at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The shuttle carries with it a crew of seven astronauts and a huge batch of laboratory animals this time. The launch was postponed when a critical processor failed during Thursday's countdown. It's been replaced. The two-week Neurolab mission promises to provide the most in-depth study ever of the brain and nervous system in space. The astronauts and the menagerie of other beings, including crickets, mice, rats, fish and snails, will serve as test subjects. T minus 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Go from eight engines. Start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a mission expanding our knowledge and understanding of the human nervous system. Roger roll, Columbia. Columbia into the roll, placing the shuttle in a heads down, wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Five seconds into the flight. Columbia one mile in altitude, two miles downrange. At the 45 second mark, Columbia's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back in a three step fashion to 67% of rated performance. That will dampen the stress Space on the shuttle's zero Columbia surfaces. There, lifting as it off through the sound on barrier. a two week mission to study the nervous system. On board, seven astronauts, three engines now begin laboratory animals. The delay on Thursday was the first time that a hardware glitch had ball. ever grounded a shuttle on its launch day. Columbia, now, go, Space Ford. Shuttle, one minute into space, into its the mission. The call from spacecraft communicator Ken Rominger acknowledged on board Columbia by Commander Rick Searfoss. He is joined on the flight deck by pilot Scott Altman, flight engineer Kay Heyer, and mission specialist Dave Williams. Down on the mid-deck are payload commander Rick Linehan, along with payload specialists Jay Bucky and Jim Powalczyk. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight, Columbia already 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 18 miles in altitude, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation, followed 10 seconds later by the ignition of Columbia's orbital maneuvering system engines. Booster officer reports a good solid rocket booster separation. The propulsion officer here in mission control reports that the ohms assist maneuver is underway. Performance nominal, we see good ohms assist. Performance nominal, good ohms assist. Columbia getting an additional lift to orbit and an engineering test to lift heavy payloads to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. And Columbia with the separation the from the booster rockets there, the Space Shuttle Columbia successful start to its two-week mission.